Hello everyone. In this video, we will see what a WCF service is all about and how to create a simple WCF service. So whenever we are talking about services, whether it is a web service or remoting service or WCF service or a Windows service, we need to remember three things. Those are nothing but creating a service, hosting a service, and consuming a service that is creating a service is nothing but the service that we want to develop so developing a service is nothing but creating a service second thing is hosting a service hosting a service is nothing but the service that we developed we are putting it in a place from where the world can access it that is nothing but keeping your service in IIS and the third point is consuming a service. Once the service is available to the world, then the world has started using it or using a service is nothing but consuming a service. Next, WCF services are all about your interfaces and classes. That's it. Say I want to create a service my service which returns a string so what is that i'll do it is very simple i'll create an interface with the name i my service which returns a string and the method name get data so very simple interface next i'll go and implement it in the class my service class my service which implements I my service interface and the method is get data which returns www.mandurthetrainer.com that's it these two things will make a complete service so I create an interface then I implement that interface in a class this is all about your web services let us implement this I'll go for file new project i'll select wcf templates and from there i'll go for wcf service library i can also go for wcf service application but here i'm going for wcf service library in future videos you will see what is the difference between these two project templates and i'll name it as test service say okay Now, in the solution, if you see, you have got a project called as test service and two files. One is an interface, another is a class. I'm going to remove this as I'm going to develop the things from the scratch. Now, I'll just add an interface. Right click, add new item. I'll go for an interface. And name of the interface is I my service. I'll say add. Here I get the interface I my service, and I'm going to simply copy this and paste it here. Save this. The next thing I'm going to do is adding a class name of the class is my service add it and i'll simply copy this and paste it here so my service is implementing an interface which is going to implement the method get data I'll save this now I want to say that I my service is exposed to the world the world need not to know about the implementation they need to know what is that they want the world needs I my service so 
I'll simply expose this interface to the world with the help of an attribute called as service contract. As you know that attributes are nothing but classes. This is present in the namespace system dot service model. Save this. And I want to say that in this interface, I'm going to expose this method to the world that is get data. So I'll simply say operation contract. As we know that it is an attribute which is present in system dot service model namespace. Save this. That's it. We are all set to go. Before we proceed, we need to make small change in app.config as we have deleted the file service1 and we added the file my service. So we need to simply replace service1 in the web.config file with my service. So I'll say control F and here we have good feature of Visual Studio 2012. I'll simply say service one should be replaced by my service and I'll say replace all. So it has replaced three occurrences. That's fine. I'll save all and I'll simply say stop. Now you must be surprised to see that we did one thing that is creating a service and Visual Studio has done two things for us that is hosting a service and consuming a service is nothing but creating a client for us if you observe here you see that WCF service host so WCF service has been hosted and it has got started for us by your Visual Studio and you have got a client as well that is that service is being used by this test client as we created interface my service and there is a method get data in it if I want to invoke that service I need to double click this get data here you have request and response as we are not at all passing any input parameters so I need not to pass anything for request I need to simply invoke the method in the need request I'll say invoke say ok and it returns www.manzur.trainer.com this is very simple we have done all the three things that is developing a service hosting it and consuming it that's it for this video thank you very much